26 years, that Salon the constituency of St. George North has had the same representative in Parliament. Since 1994, Barbados Labour Party candidate Glenn Clark has been their MP and the only representative some constituents in St. George North have known. But that will change soon. Today, I want to say to you and I will say to the speaker some words very shortly that by the end of the month, 30th of September, and the 1st of October, which is the birthday of the Prime Minister, <laughs> I will be doing something else. The Prime Minister will tell you that. Nomination Day in Barbados for the St. George North, the constituency of St. George North, to select the next member of parliament for that constituency will be Monday, the 26th of October 2020, and the election date for the return of a representative in the House of Assembly will now be Wednesday, November 11th, 2020. This by election has thrown St. George North into the spotlight of the nation. At last count, there were six candidates vying to take up the mantle of St. George North. But just how much do we know this constituency? One of the few landlocked constituencies in the island, St. George North remains essentially an agricultural community. It also now has a growing middle income class whose beautiful homes dot its landscape. The constituency stretches from Sweetvale and Jericho in the north to Turnpike and Salters in the south. In the west, its districts include Neils, Lower Estate, Market Hill, Workman's, the Gunhill Signal Station, and St. George Parish Church. St. George has had varied representation from the Barbados Labour Party and the Democratic Labour Party. In 1971, when single member ridings first made their appearance, St. George North elected a Democratic Labour Party candidate at a time when Errol Barrow ran the country. However, five years later, when it chose a Barbados Labour Party candidate, most of the voters in the country turned to Tom Adams and the BLP. By 1986, when the political tide turned back to Barrow, you guessed it, St. George North led the way. Back in 1994, Glenn Clark first won a seat against Antoinette Thompson of the DLB and Richard Byer of the new party at the time, the National Democratic Party. Five years later, Patrick Carter was the DLP's candidate and the following general election saw educator Desmond Brown, none of whom was successful. The 2008 election saw Calypsonian Colin Spencer enter the political fray as a DLP candidate contesting the St. George North seat. He too was unsuccessful as was Jector Ince, who was the DLP's candidate for the following two elections. The last general election saw other faces join the race, Everton Holligan of the UPP and Grenville Phillips of Solutions Barbados. Still, Glenn Clark remained the choice of the people in St. George North. The microscope will again be on the constituency come November 11th as six different representatives throw their hats in the ring to become the next MP.